This is Jason Spangler with Wagner Meters, and with the introduction of the Data Master um, and the increase in its popularity, of course we start to get different questions. And what we've decided to do is from time to time we'll come to you with these videos of frequently asked questions that we have and try to break them down into just, to just small segments that are uh, very easy to digest, if you will. So. We'll just assume at this point what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the information out of the out of the data master into the computer and upload it to the F2170 reports. And there are a few caveats. So once we have the the SD card taken out of the data master, we insert it in the computer, log into the F2170 reports. and search by pulling up your computer where the where the SD card is actually at and for the for this example I actually labeled it as YouTube and these are going to be all the serial numbers for the different sensors that you've taken the reading off of for that job which in this case is YouTube now here's where the caveat's at that seems to kind of hold people up just a little bit. At this point you need to highlight the top one. You need to take your pointer and go down to the bottom sensor number that's there. You need to hit shift and your right click button on your mouse so that everything is highlighted. At that point you left click it, go to send to, and you want to do it as a compressed zip folder. and you see as it comes through typically what I'll do is I'll go back and I will just label it whatever I whatever the job name was in this case again it's YouTube so now once I have that I'll minimize that I'll sign into my F2170 reports I'll go to the reports section I'll hit upload data files and then I'll browse now if it doesn't pop up automatically, again, go back to your SD card, your YouTube file, and there's the zip file right there. If you select that and hit upload, what you'll see is that you'll have all of the sensors that were there successfully added. Now as far as going from there to the report, it's a matter of going back to your main screen of the reports and you can export this file to a PDF in this situation right here what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to have the last pieces of information that were taken from that job imported into this PDF format so you don't have or, or nobody has the ability to manipulate the data and you can transfer that to your to your customer. One last piece of advice is that prior to doing any kind of uploads, what you need to know is that you need to have the hole depth, the uh, test location, and those have to be done manually in the data master prior to uploading. You'll find that there'll be an error if you are missing those two pieces of information because they're actually required by the ASTM F2170 11 standard. So that's pretty much it. At that point, you can take the information and export it into Excel if you like, if you want to chart or do whatever you need to do with it. So, with that being said, this is Jason Spangler signing off.